ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਤਰਕਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫੇਰ ਗੁਰਸ਼ਰਨ ਮਾਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਮਸਤੇ ਦੀ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਰ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਵੈਲ ਨੋਨ ਆਥਰ ਤੇ ਰਾਈਟਰ ਸ਼ੈਨਨ ਸਕਿਨਰ ਜੀ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਜੋ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲ ਡਾਇਰੀਜ਼ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੇ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਘੁੰਮ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਟੂਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸ਼ੈਨਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਓ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫਾਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਆਮ ਆਮ ਸੋ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਫੁਲ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਸੋ ਲੌਂਗ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਯੂ ਮੇਡ ਇਟ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਓਕੇ ਟੈਲ ਆਰ ਵਿਊਰਸ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ So I am a writer and yeah. author. Mm-hmm. I wrote a book called The Whispering Heart Your Inner Guide to Creativity, which mm-hmm. is about uh it's a life guidance book about listening to your heart and how to unlock your creativity. Uh-huh. Um I'm a travel writer. Yeah. Uh my background is public relations, mm-hmm. so I was PR consultant for many years. Mm-hmm. Uh and I host and produce a show uh that's but both television show and online called mm-hmm. Extraordinary Women TV. Uh-huh. Uh and I'm an international speaker. Very nice. And uh, tell us your interest about traveling. When that started and how did you do it? My interest in traveling I think began when I was quite young, well. but um when I was finished university, so I grew up in Saskatchewan and when uh. I finished university, um I moved to London, England. Yeah. by myself with two bags and I didn't know anyone. Mm-hmm. Um and that was the beginning of a lifelong um love for adventure. Yes. So I moved to London, England, um and that kind of sparked it for me and my interest in India specifically actually mm. began when I read the book uh, City of Joy in university. Yeah. Uh and then uh, when I went to London, I started to learn much more about uh the Indian culture because of course yeah. you know, there are a lot of uh, Indian culture plays a very big role in London. So it began then. Very nice. And you've been to India as well? I've been to India several times, three several, times. Three times. Three times, yeah. So uh, you've been to Calcutta? I've been to Calcutta, yeah. Okay. Yes, I have. <laughs> and did you see the day and night difference between uh this world and that world? I don't know if I saw that much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. I mean in culture, food and everything. Oh, we mean from a culture? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. When I first um when when I first uh went to India, I went to Assam uh-huh. to Guwahati. Uh-huh. Uh to cover Rangali, which is a festival yes. there. And uh that was my first introduction to mm-hmm. to India. And it was really um it was a very big eye opener. Most people yes. go to Delhi first, yeah. you know. Uh but I went to the northeast. Yeah, it rains there a lot in Assam. And it wasn't when I when I was there, it was really okay. quite hot. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's known for the rain like it's it's kind of, you know, uh it rains almost every day over there. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the parts you've been in uh, in India? So uh to Assam and Guwahati is where I began Guwahati, yes. and then I went on a tiger safari in Kasaranga mm-hmm. um then I went to Shillong, Shillong which is yeah. in uh in um uh Meghalaya yeah and the Kolkata yeah I uh, spent some time in Delhi in Agra of course to see the Taj Mahal it was my very first trip Um the second time around I was in Delhi and I spoke at a conference women's conference there the Women oh. Economic Forum Yes and um then I traveled to Rajasthan Yeah it's a beautiful historical I love Rajasthan place. Yes it is uh which is Jaipur yes. so I stayed in Jaipur and uh and then the third time uh I went uh before the pandemic mm-hmm. I went to cover uh International Yoga Day Yeah. Uh at, at a VIP event in Delhi. Yeah. That was really great. Uh and then uh, it was a media trip and then we went to uh Pune. Yeah. On a yoga themed uh trip so I s- we toured a number of ashrams uh and yoga academies and uh in Pune area and then uh to Mumbai and home. Or uh, uh Shannon ji likhte bhi ne aur specialize karte ne 
ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਐਂਡ ਟੂਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਰ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਆਮ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਅਵੇ ਹਰ ਈਮੇਲ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਕੰਟੈਕਟ ਹਰ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਫੋਰ well i suppose i look for a few different things mm. uh, my interest is is in ultimately in culture yes. you know um, food and wellness is is an important um, theme for me in my travels mm-hmm. um, but i'm you know i'm looking for really something different an adventure with with food mm. wine yes. um, wine is not a india is not a wine destination no. but i write a lot about uh, about wine as well yes. wine destinations um and so primarily for me it's 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 a culture and wellness yeah how do you find the people over there in india i had a really i've had great experiences mm-hmm. so for me the people were friendly um sometimes yes. straightforward yeah Yeah. You do have to be cautious, yeah. um, not to be naive when you travel anywhere in the world. Yes. Especially if you're traveling as a solo female, That's you know, right. on on your own, it which I travel a lot. It could be challenging sometimes, yes. Yeah, yes. so it's yes. just being aware, yeah. but I found the people that I had contact with really delightful. Yes. And they yes. were very intrigued with me as well, especially in the northeast. Uh you are also an author. Tell me about your book. So My book, my first book is called um The Whispering Heart Your Inner Guide to Creativity. Yes. And it is about um listening to your heart. Mm-hmm. It is about listening to your heart, which is really um the core of where our genius is. Mm-hmm. And when we listen to our heart, we can have that is really the key to having a fulfilling and meaningful life. Uh and unlocking our creativity mm-hmm. and living a life that is for us like our own values rather than living someone else's life. Yes. So that is a book I I wrote a number of years ago. I have uh, another edition coming out very soon. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. Second edition. So uh what else do you uh, like to do besides these two things traveling and your author as well? So I love to interview women. So yeah. I have been telling women's stories um either through my writing or through uh, my television show and yeah. online platform extraordinary women tv mm-hmm. i've interviewed hundreds of women from all over the world yeah. uh over the years um and i love to tell their stories and i love to really sort of dig into people's hearts yes. and figure out what makes them tick and yeah. what is what they love to do and yeah. and that message that they want to share with the world and get that message out and i'd love to share it very nice so uh, shannon ji travel vlog bhi karde ne aur uh, uh, you have a special taste and interest in wine as well I i've do. seen you like traveling all over in niagara region as well yes <laughs> yes i do i've been um working on a project uh, yeah. i've been doing some writing uh, uh on uh, wine in uh, niagara yeah um i actually have some education mm-hmm. uh a wine specialist wine uh, tasting, yeah. yeah you know, i've got some education on uh wine so i know a little bit a little bit about wine i can i can <laughs> never tell the difference between one one and another <laughs> yeah it's um you know I, i this last year this last summer i spent um a lot of time in the niagara region and mm. instead of traveling internationally i made a conscious decision to for slow travel slow yeah. travel meaning that um you would choose a destination and and get to know a destination and the people and the food and the culture and i realized that i didn't know that much about mm. niagara like not a whole lot of detail mm-hmm. So over this past summer I spent a lot of time down there getting to know winemakers um mm. you know in the community and what not and I've been writing about it and it's it's been really great and by the way we make great wine yeah we you know? do we, we do <laughs> we we t- Canadians will tend to look to other um regions like France yeah. and uh, Australia um in Italy for wines but we we don't really look as we don't really celebrate our own backyard. That's right. So we have great wine um yeah. that comes out of uh, Niagara. Yes. So you've been to Italy or uh, France as well? 
Uh, not oh, wine tasting. Or? Not yet. Not yet. But I, but I would love to. That's good. We'll go there together. <laughs> uh, well, I would love to talk to you for a longer time, but because of the limitation of the time, I, I won't be able to talk to you for long. Before uh, we wrap up this uh, interview, would you like to say anything to our audience? Uh, well, I guess if there's a message that I have, it yeah. is follow your heart because uh, that has been my motto in life. Uh -huh. um, it has served me well. I listened to it mm -hmm. uh, and I've been able to accomplish a lot of my dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, I have more to go. Yeah. Um, it's a life, life is a lifelong journey. Yes. Um, but if I had one message, it would be listen to your heart, follow your heart. Yes, definitely. And the Darshkan Dastya Sanu Badi Khushi Ho Rai Ki Is Punjabi Tarkan Program Di ਲੋਕਪ੍ਰਿਯਤਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਵਧੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਵਰਗ ਦੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਹਰ ਕਲਚਰ ਦੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸ਼ੈਨਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫਾਰ ਯੋਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਵੀਲ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਸੂਨ ਅਗੇਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫਾਰ ਦਿਸ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਆਈ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਅਪ